punch like crazy. Where in this past camp, I'm so just like the pressure is so much to do a 10 round fight. And I don't know if I could do it. I'm coming off of a loss and my mm. coaches are pushing me 22 rounds. And I just sit on the side of the ring, like crying, like teary eyed, like just, just defeated by the sport of boxing, like not having a good day in the gym, like not knowing if I could even do this. And, and it's cool that you, you know, it's, you gotta have those loads. Breaking news that might make some people happy. Jake Paul just announced he's retiring from boxing. Jake Paul has retired from the sport of boxing. He has not, however, retired from being a professional athlete. At 25 years old, Jake Paul counts as an undrafted free agent, and he signed with his hometown team, the Cleveland Browns. Now, Paul only played two years of high school football before he transitioned to being a social media star, but he ran a 44740 and clocks in at 6'1", 192 pounds. He's very raw at this point, but we think with some training, he could get reps this season. Jake Paul has officially retired. And no, this is not a joke. In a post interview, he said he needed time to spend with his girlfriend. And then this year, I realized that I would, I would like let myself go. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be fucking chilling with a cigar and probably be drinking. Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned professional boxer, has sent shockwaves through the fight world with rumors swirling about his potential retirement. This comes after a highly anticipated but ultimately canceled bout with boxing legend Mike Tyson. While the official reason for the cancellation was health concerns for Tyson, whispers suggest Paul himself might be hanging up his gloves. Reports claim Paul has been suffering from concussion-like symptoms after particularly intense sparring sessions with Tyson. The legendary boxer, known for his ferocious punching power, reportedly went a bit too hard on the young social media star during training. While Paul isn't officially diagnosed with a concussion, the lingering headaches and dizziness have certainly raised red flags. Listen, training with Iron Mike was an honor, a dream come true, all said in a recent interview. But let me tell you, the man hits like a truck. There were definitely a couple of times where I saw stars after the bell rang. These symptoms, coupled with the potential long-term health risks associated with boxing, have reportedly caused Paul to seriously consider his future in the ring. I love boxing. I really do. Paul continued. But messing around with brain damage isn't something I'm interested in. I have a lot of life left to live, a lot of things I want to accomplish. Stepping away now might be the smartest decision. While some fans might scoff at the idea of Paul, a relative newcomer to professional boxing, being put down by Tyson, the seriousness of head injuries is no laughing matter. Concussions can have lasting consequences, and the cumulative effects of repeated blows to the head can lead to serious neurological problems down the road. The potential health risks aren't the only factors Paul is likely considering. Boxing, while a path to fame and fortune for some, can also be a brutal and unforgiving sport. The pressure to win, the constant training, and the mental strain of facing another fighter across the ring can all take a toll. There's a lot more to boxing than just throwing punches, Paul admitted. The mental side of it is tough. You have to be constantly focused, disciplined, and prepared to get hurt. It's a different kind of challenge than anything I've ever faced. Whether this is a permanent retirement or just a temporary hiatus remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear. Jake Paul's boxing career has hit a crossroads. The health risks are undeniable and the mental demands are significant. The decision to continue fighting is no easy one. Paul has certainly carved out a unique niche in the boxing world. He's brought in a new generation of fans, many of whom might not have otherwise tuned into the sport. Whether he chooses to retire or fight on, his impact on boxing is undeniable. Only time will tell if the YouTuber turned boxer decides to risk it all or prioritize his long-term health. One thing is for sure, the boxing world will be watching his decision closely. Jake Paul's potential retirement from boxing has sent shockwaves through the fight world, but rumors about his health go beyond just a sparring session with Mike Tyson. Whispers of concussion-like symptoms after training with Iron Mike are certainly concerning, but there's another layer to this story. The long-standing allegations of Paul's reliance on performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, and steroids. While never proven, these accusations have dogged Paul throughout his boxing career. Critics point to his rapid physical transformation and question whether his impressive physique is a result of hard work or artificial enhancements. These suspected PEDs could be a significant factor in Paul's current health woes. Hey, I want to say that, like, thank you for the opportunity that you gave me. Me giving you an opportunity. Even though I do like you, don't mean I like you. Anything. I just gave you the opportunity. Yeah, you took advantage of it. Yep. Sports, mm. boxing in the gym with big gloves and headgear. Yeah. 
is easy compared to going under the lights. I mean, it just sucks that he's had so many controversies in his life, but I'm hoping he puts all that shit behind him. They don't survive situations like that. Because they're know? so wild and they're having yeah. a good time too much and they're partying and they're the champ. It has, to, it has to come to an end. That stuff, if you don't um, bring it to an end, it's going to bring it to, it's gonna come to its own end. He's still grappling with the news of Jake Paul's potential retirement. While whispers of lingering health issues following sparring sessions with Mike Tyson have circulated, the legendary boxer himself has a far more scathing take on the situation. In a recent interview, Tyson didn't mince words. Retirement? Pfft, that kid's a joke, he boomed, his voice still carrying the echo of the ferocious fighter who once dominated the heavyweight division. A fighter? More like a social media clown who wasted everyone's time. Tyson's frustration appears rooted in the perceived lack of dedication and respect from Paul. Here I am, a guy who poured his heart and soul into this sport for years, Tyson continued, his voice laced with a hint of bitterness. And this kid waltzes in with his YouTube fame thinking he can be a boxer overnight. It's disrespectful to everyone who's ever stepped into the ring, put in the blood, sweat, and tears. Further igniting the firestorm, Tyson claims he went easy on Paul during their training sessions. Listen, he said. A mischievous glint in his eye. Those were sparring sessions, not a real fight. If I'd gone anywhere near full power, well, let's just say that Kid wouldn't be complaining about headaches anymore. While some might interpret this as playful banter from the boxing legend, others see it as a veiled threat, a stark reminder of the vast gulf in experience and skill between the two fighters. Whether Tyson's comments are a genuine critique or simply a publicity stunt for his upcoming exhibition bout, they serve as a harsh reality check for Paul if he chooses to continue boxing. Stepping into the ring with a legend like Tyson exposes the immense dedication and sacrifice required to succeed in the unforgiving world of professional boxing. One thing is clear, Mike Tyson's reaction throws Paul's future in boxing into even greater disarray. Will he choose to heed the warnings, dedicate himself to serious training, and prove his doubters wrong? Or will he, as Tyson suggests, walk away from the sport leaving behind a legacy of unfulfilled potential and unanswered questions about his commitment to the sport? Tyson's comments, laced with humor, don't necessarily confirm a knockout of Paul during sparring. It seems more like a playful jab at the social media star, a hypothetical scenario where the boxing legend unleashes his power on a much less experienced opponent. Now don't get me wrong, Tyson continued, his eyes twinkling with mischief. I wasn't about to go full beast mode on him in training. That wouldn't be fair, but let's just say, if we ever stepped into the ring for real. Despite the playful banter, there's a hint of seriousness in Tyson's words. He clearly respects the dedication and discipline required for professional boxing, something he believes Paul might be lacking. However, a spark of competitive spirit still flickers within the legendary fighter. Maybe the retirement talk is a good thing, Tyson mused. Gives him time to focus on his training, learn some respect for the sweet science. Who knows, maybe one day he'll be ready for a real challenge. And hey, he said with a sly grin, maybe then Iron Mike will give him a shot at that knockout he seems so curious about. Punch like crazy. Where in this past camp, I'm so just like the pressure is so much to do a 10 round fight. And I don't know if I could do it. I'm coming off of a loss and my mm. coaches are pushing me 22 rounds. And I just sit on the side of the ring, like crying, like teary eyed, like just just defeated by the sport of boxing like not having a good day in the gym like not knowing if i could even do this and and it's cool that you you know it's you got to have those lows do you think you can still hit as hard as you used to be able to we're gonna see i can say this my last fight i didn't have no interest in doing it i'm interested in doing it now Feel this fine. is fun right now this bit here this and then it's boom. Then we're going to fight. This is the fun part. Everything else is gonna oh, help. I don't take it serious as I did when I was younger. Is reeling after Jake Paul's official retirement announcement. This news comes just weeks after the cancellation of his highly anticipated fight with Mike Tyson, and it left Iron Mike fuming. Not only is Tyson frustrated by the cancelled bout, but rumors are swirling about a potential lawsuit against Paul. Retirement? Seriously? Tyson boomed in a recent interview his voice laced with a mixture of anger and disbelief. This kid quits on everything. First the fight, now his whole career. What a joke. Tyson's frustration stems from the significant financial investment and promotional efforts that went into the planned fight with Paul. The bout was expected to be a lucrative pay-per-view event, and its cancellation undoubtedly caused a financial blow to both fighters and the event organizers. This fight was supposed to be huge, Tyson continued, his voice shaking slightly. We were talking about big money, big viewership, and this kid just pulls out at the last minute. That's not just disrespectful, it's a breach of contract. 
My lawyers are looking into it. The potential lawsuit adds another layer of drama to the already volatile situation. While the official reasons for Paul's retirement haven't been disclosed, speculation points towards lingering health issues following sparring sessions with Tyson. However, Iron Mike isn't buying it. Health problems? Come on, scoffed Tyson. He looked just fine after training. This is all about him dodging a fight he knew he couldn't win. Now he's trying to save face with this retirement story. Whether a lawsuit materializes or not, the cancelled fight and Paul's subsequent retirement leave a bitter taste in Tyson's mouth. He feels his legacy, his dedication to the sport, is being disrespected by a newcomer who lacks the commitment and grit required for professional boxing. This whole thing is an insult to the sport, Tyson concluded, his voice hardening with resolve. Maybe a lawsuit will send a message. Maybe it will show these internet wannabes that boxing isn't a game, it's about respect, sacrifice, and facing your fears in the ring, not running away from them. With Jake Paul's retirement announcement and the potential for a lawsuit, the future remains unwritten. Will a legal battle play out, further souring the relationship between the two fighters? Or will a resolution be reached, allowing both Tyson and Paul to move forward? Only time will tell. One thing is certain. The drama surrounding the cancelled fight and Paul's departure from boxing is far from over. In the wake of his retirement announcement and the lawsuit threats from Mike Tyson, Jake Paul finds himself at the center of a boxing firestorm. Tyson's accusations of quitting and disrespecting the sport have stung the YouTuber-turned-boxer, prompting him to finally break his silence. Listen, I have nothing but respect for Mike Tyson, Paul said in a recent interview, his voice laced with a hint of frustration. He's a legend, a once-in-a-lifetime fighter, but with all due respect, Iron Mike isn't exactly in the ring himself these days. Paul's response is a measured attempt to address Tyson's claims while deflecting some of the blame. He acknowledges Tyson's legendary status but subtly highlights the fact that Tyson himself isn't actively competing anymore. However, the core issue of Paul's health remains unaddressed. My decision to retire wasn't easy, Paul continued, his voice softening slightly. There were a lot of factors to consider and my health was definitely a major one. Those sparring sessions with Mikey were intenser, and frankly, I wasn't feeling right afterwards. It made me seriously question whether I could handle the rigors of professional boxing. I'm so intense with this. My whole my whole objective was hurting people and wanting to be the best, and my ego took over, and I'm right. like, Tyson, I'm the best ever lived. His comments about his health concerns seem sincere. However, some remain skeptical, wondering if this is a strategic move to deflect criticism and avoid a potential lawsuit. Maybe I am being cautious. Paul admitted, a hint of defiance creeping into his voice. But isn't that better than risking permanent damage for the sake of entertainment? Boxing is a brutal sport, and I have a lot of life left to live. There's more to me than just being a boxer. Despite Paul's claims of respect, his decision to retire right before a highly anticipated fight leaves a bad taste in some fans' mouths. They question his commitment to the sport and wonder if he ever truly respected, Paul said, a hint of sadness in his voice. This wasn't how I envisioned things ending. But sometimes you have to make tough decisions, prioritize your well-being. Maybe that's not what everyone wants to hear, but ultimately, it's my health, my future on the line. The boxing world is still grappling with the fallout from Jake Paul's retirement and the potential lawsuit from Mike Tyson. However, in a surprising turn of events, Iron Mike seems to have set his sights on a new target, Jake's older brother, Logan Paul. The reason for this shift? A disrespectful comment Logan posted on social media. Looks like someone's chicken finally came home to roost. Logan wrote on his Instagram page, referencing Jake's retirement and the lawsuit threats. This jab, it appears, has ignited a fire in Mike Tyson. Logan Paul, seriously? Boomed Tyson in a recent interview, his voice laced with a mixture of anger and amusement. This kid thinks he can disrespect a legend like me and get away with it. He's next in line for a beatdown, that's for sure. While Logan Paul initially voiced his support for his brother's decision to retire, his recent social media post has backfired spectacularly. It seems he's underestimated the fiery spirit of Mike Tyson, who clearly doesn't take kindly to public disrespect. Maybe Logan thinks because he's bigger than his little brother, he can handle Iron Mike, Tyson said with a chuckle. Let me tell you something, son. Size doesn't win fights. It's heart. It's grit. It's respect for the sport. And from what I've seen, Logan Paul lacks all three. Some speculate that Mike Tyson's call-out of Logan Paul is simply a publicity stunt a way to drum up interest for an exhibition bout. However, there's a glint of seriousness in Iron Mike's eyes that suggests otherwise. Maybe it is a good thing Jake retired, Tyson mused. Gives me a chance to teach his big brother a lesson. A lesson in respect. A lesson in what it means to step into the ring with a legend.
The question on everyone's lips is this, will Logan Paul accept Mike Tyson's challenge? Unlike his brother, Logan has actually stepped into the ring for a professional boxing match against fellow YouTuber KSI. However, facing the ferocious Mike Tyson is a whole different ball game. The ball is in his court now, Tyson concluded, a sly grin spreading across his face. Does Logan Paul have the guts to face Iron Mike? Or will he, like his brother, crumble under pressure and run away? Working, you're going to do this. You're going to be a ferocious animal. You're going to fight, put, put both hands to the body. You'll use your jab. You're going to do this in ferocious fashion. And they seeked all that in me as I was younger. And you were like 12, 13 years yeah. old? Wow. So they're putting you under and just teaching you that mindset. Yeah. Whoa. Did he give you any advice on how to shut it off? No. <laughs> Boxing world is still reeling from the twists and turns of the Jake Paul saga. Now, with Mike Tyson setting his sights on Logan Paul, the drama enters a new chapter. But is this a genuine challenge or a calculated ploy by Iron Mike? While some believe Tyson's call-out of Logan Paul is a direct response to Logan's social media jab, others suspect a deeper strategy. This could all be a big joke by Iron Mike says a veteran boxing analyst. Maybe he knows Jake's watching this whole thing unfold. Maybe this is all a way to mess with Jake's head, deconcentrate him while he's dealing with his own retirement and the lawsuit. The analyst's theory holds water. By publicly challenging Logan, a less experienced fighter, Tyson might be playing mind games with Jake. The idea is to keep Jake invested in the situation, worried about his brother facing a legend like Tyson. This could potentially influence the ongoing lawsuit or even persuade Jake to consider a comeback fight himself. It's a smart move if that's what Iron Mike is doing, the analyst continues. He knows Jake's competitive spirit. Challenging Logan might just be the bait that gets a reaction out of Jake. Regardless of the potential mind games, one thing is clear. Mike Tyson is isn't taking a potential fight with Logan Paul lightly. Recent footage shows him training intensely, showcasing surprising speed and power for his age. Maybe I'm not the young Iron Mike anymore, Tyson said in a recent interview, sweat dripping from his brow after a grueling training session. But I still got the fire in my belly, and I don't take disrespect lightly. Someone's got to teach these Paul brothers a lesson. Whether this is a genuine plan to fight Logan, or a calculated strategy to mess with Jake, Mike Tyson has captured the boxing world's attention once again. Will Logan Paul accept the challenge and step into the ring with a legend? Or will this public call-out fizzle out, leaving fans wondering if there was ever a real fight on the horizon? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. Drama surrounding the Paul brothers and Mike Tyson is far from over.